In this video, I'm going to show you how to take any font and turn it into a Canva template. Now you can use these Canva templates to drag and drop patterns, photos, any image into this frame. So we're basically going to turn the fonts into frames and then you can use these frames and drag and drop any image into the fonts, creating your own pattern font. So let's get started. First, you're going to open your Illustrator app and go to File, and we are going to create a new artboard. You can do the letters one by one, or you can create 26 artboards and do them all at the same time. I like to have my color mode set at RGB, my raster effects is set at 300, and then go to More Settings, and this is where you can organize how your artboards are laid out and i just like to do mine in six columns so click on create document and now we have 26 artboards uploaded and we're ready to add our font now here you can either use a bg font that you have or you can choose any font you have on your computer so i'm going to be using one of my fonts for this i'm going to use this bubble treble and I'm just going to click on the text or the type tool and I'm going to type a letter, which you can't see it. I'm going to have to make it bigger. So then I stretch the letter out and place it in the artboard. So now I just copy this one and paste it into the next artboard. And I'm going to change the letter. And then you do the next letter. Copy and paste and then change it to the next letter. I may want to shrink these down just a little bit because you want to make sure that you have plenty of room around the letter. You don't want any parts of your letter hanging out of the artboard. So just continue to copy and paste until you get all of your letters typed and added in the artboard. I'll do these real quick. Now when you have one whole row completed, you can copy the whole row, copy and paste the whole row. And then I'm just gonna do that throughout the rest of the board. Whoops. And then do it again. And that will save a little bit of time because we can just go in and change the letters then. I'll just go in and change these to the rest of the alphabet. Now just click on your selection tool and go and just adjust the letters so they're in the middle of each artboard. And if some of them are a little bit too big, you can shrink them down to where they fit comfortably inside the artboard. All my letters look good. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Now I'm going to hold down my mouse and select all of the letters. I'm going to right click and select create outlines. And that will turn the font into an SVG font or a vector type font. So now you're going to right click again and select ungroup and just keep doing that until you don't have ungroup anymore. And what this does is it separates the two parts of the letter. So now you have the background fill and then you have the outline. And now our letters are ready to add a pattern. And oh, let me adjust this one. It was hanging off the board just a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the outline and I'm going to go to select and same and fill color. And I'm just going to group all that together so it stays in one piece. That just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. That way you don't have a whole bunch of little tiny pieces. So now we need to fill this blue part or whatever color your background is with an image. And then that way we can make this into a photo frame on Canva. So go to your files and open an image or drag one in. I have one over here I was gonna use. And this can be any image that you wanna use. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what the pattern is. Any image will work. And then I just shrink it down to the size of the artboard. And then you can either copy and paste to the next artboard or you can hold down your shortcut keys i think it's command and just drag with your mouse 
and we're just going to cover up the letters with your picture. And then once I get a whole row, I like to just grab them all and then drag them down. Now we will select the all of the photo pieces that we just put on here and we're going to right click and arrange and send to back. So now your photo is behind your letters. So now select your letter fill color and your image and then you're going to right click and select make clipping mask. You'll do this for all of the letters until they are all filled with images. Make sure that you are clicking on the fill color and not the outline, but we have the outline all selected so you'll know if you click on that. That makes it just a little bit easier to tell. So I'm going to do this for all of the letters. Oops. So now I have done that for all of the letters. The last thing you're going to do is click on your outline of your letter, if you have one, and right click and arrange and send it to the back. And that is just going to pull your image in front of your outline. And I see some of mine got a little out of whack here, so I'm going to just line them back up. Give me just a second to clean these up a, a little bit. So now the last step is to go and save this so you can pull it into Canva. So we're going to go to file, we're going to go to file and save as, and then we're going to save this as a PDF. And you want to make sure all of the artboards are checked because you need all of the letters. So then you can just name your font. I'm going to call this a bubble font and save it and click save as pdf so now this is ready to pull into the canva app i'm just going to create a custom size and i'm going to do 12 inches by 12 inches not pixels 12 inches by 12 inches and create a new design and then we need to add 26 pages so just keep clicking until you have 26 pages now we have 26 pages added we are going to go to uploads and upload the files and you're going to open the pdf file and that's going to pull it over into your canva and there is the pdf we just made so now you can click on it and click apply to all 26 pages and that's going to put the letters that you just made in there your last step is to remove that photo and all you do is just click on it and then click delete and you're going to do that for all 26 letters and you'll notice that Canva puts that photo template background automatically in your letters and I notice my letters got a little bit off center so just make sure yours are lined up when you save them. It's not really a big deal for a messy looking font. It looks like it's supposed to be like that. So now your font is ready for you to share as a template, but let me show you how you can use it. You can go to photos and pick any photo, any photo. I'm just going to go with this one and then you just drag it over and you can fill your template with any image. If I wanted to pick a different image, oops. I can pick a different image. You can fill them all with something different or you can fill them all with the same thing. So I'm just gonna delete those now. Whoops, I just don't delete your whole background. Let me delete those. So now if you're selling this as a Canva template or you wanna share it with your customers, you go to share and then you're going to get a template link. And right here, Anyone with this link can use this design as a template. So you'll click on template link and then that gives you the page to the template and you'll click copy. And now if you want to test this like in an incognito window, you can put that Canva link up here and this is what you'll see. It is your template and all they have to do is just click on use the new template for a design then you'll have to just log into your Canva account and you can use the letter template design.
And that's all you have to do to make a template for Canva.